I want people to see that I'm doing all right. And, you know, I can, I'm still going to be able to do all the stuff that they can do. Like, I'm going to be able to walk. I'm going to be able to write. I'm going to be able to do just kind of like everything. It's just same old pagey. When I was in that water, I was like praying. I'm like, I'm 17. I got so much to do. <laughs> and it's true. I have a lot to do. And I think with this situation, I can transform it into something that's not like, oh, how tragic. 17-year-old lost a leg. No, 17-year-old lost a leg and we're popping, you know? I think I could transform this into something good for me and good for sharks and good for the environment too. And that's just kind of what I really want. It's what I've wanted this whole time. And it really helps to know that um, I'm not alone in this situation. There are other survivors of shark bites that have been sending me some love and that really helps. When an amputee talks to me, it's just really nice to know that like I have somebody who's also on the same wavelength as me. Sharks are still good people. And that's just kind of the truth. They're still so good. And they're so cool. <laughs> they're pretty cool. Good people. You know, I'm glad I've seen a lot of things. I grabbed her with my left arm. And I pulled her up over the water. And when I pulled her up, a shark came up with her. Uh, and it was a big shark. The head was, it was a big shark. And uh, kind of thrashed a little bit, and I had a big, just a big eye just staring at you. And uh, I immediately just started to hit it. I read five times. It could have been ten. It could have been three. It could have, I don't know. I wasn't keeping track, but I know, um, I know I was hitting it. And I hit it with everything I could, and it let go. I immediately grabbed her with my under my with my right arm. I could see the damage as I was turning. I looked and I grabbed her on her thigh, I was trying to stop the bleeding. I turned and I started to run immediately back to the shore. Um, so I just ran out there. We had the shark, and then I started running back. I did not know that the shark was at arm's length behind me, chasing us. I didn't know that until later. I also did not know that there was two sharks out there. I've been told that it was a length of a car. I don't know. Uh, I didn't see it. All I saw was its head, and it was impressive. On the afternoon of June 2nd, Paige was attacked by a shark in relatively shallow water at Fort Macon State Park in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. She suffered what proved to be a devastating injury to her left leg and significant damage to her hands, particularly to her left hand. She was removed from the water by her father, and he will recount his frank heroism in that instant. Uh, she underwent placement of a tourniquet at the scene, which proved to be life-saving. She'll be walking before she's using her hands. Uh, On arrival to the trauma center, Paige was alert, conversant, incredibly calm, and frankly courageous. My partner, Dr. Nicole Garcia, and the trauma team activated the massive transfusion protocol as Paige had lost a significant amount of blood. Unfortunately, it became immediately apparent that her left lower extremity had sustained profound tissue damage and was not salvageable. She also had significant tissue lost to her left hand as well as significant damage to her right hand as well. She was taken urgently to the operating room where she underwent amputation of her left leg at the level of her thigh. She also at that time went debridement, underwent debridement of tissue from both hands and control of hemorrhage from both of her hands by Dr. Ziri's team.